King Charles teaming up with David Beckham in the pair headline this morning's Royal Roundup with our friend Patricia Treble, who joins us now. And Patricia, the King has tapped the English soccer star for new <laughs> ambassadorship. Yep. What do we know about this? I'm going to say a bit of an odd couple. They bonded over beekeeping. Who knew? But if you had been following, if you've been seeing the David Beckham's the, the uh, series that they had on Netflix, he's really into the rural life, into beekeeping and all that. And he gave the king a jar of his honey last year. Um, and that kind of spawned a conversation because um, what he's going to be ambassador of is not diplomat um but he's going to be the first ambassador for the king's foundation and you as you mentioned it's been going for a while mm -hmm. the focus really is sustainability traditional arts they do a lot of fashion stuff enormous amount of fashion stuff um they train about twelve thousand people a year and they want to grow they want to make this bigger to keep all the traditional arts going and of course beckham has really been talked about he grew up in the city but he's grown to really love rural life love traditions he loves fashion, so I can see this being just a match made in heaven. Okay, okay. Uh, you mentioned bees, and we also know the king. <laughs> the king also loves his horses. He and does. He was spotted this weekend at the tracks cheering on his horse with his wife. Exactly. So this is, and this has kind of come out of surprise because he was he loves horses, but he was never a racing fan. That was his mom, and that was his wife. Um, they both love racing. But since he inherited a whole stable full of racehorses, <laughs> he's become, and he's actually been, he's been going to a lot of the races. So this was a horse named Treasure. So this was the first race, 18 to 1 odds, and it went about as well as you could expect it, second to the last. But they were having fun, and we're going to see them in just about two weeks. Royal Ascot is coming, and we're expected to see the king every day. All okay. right. So some room for improvement for a Treasure. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, we got reports that the king would like his brother to uh, downsize when it comes to his living arrangements, but uh, we're also understanding that Prince Andrew isn't exactly cooperating. Yeah, this is getting testy. We've talked about this before. It's now devolved into the Siege of Royal Lodge, and this is the massive, sprawling mansion that Prince Andrew has a long lease for um, near Windsor Castle. And basically, the problem is that Prince Andrew is house-rich, massive house, cash poor he has to maintain it and the problem is that right now it's the king who's basically financing his lifestyle and the king is growing a little tired of it and would like andrew because he's rattling around 30 room house massive estate would like him to downsize and andrew is resisting and basically the king is the threat is that he's going to start trimming the money um if he doesn't now he's not going to be thrown into the poor house he's going to what the king wants to have him do is go literally five minutes down the road to Harry and Meghan's place, which is sitting empty. Yeah, Frogmore? Frogmore? Frogmore Cottage, five bedroom. They talk, you know, cottage, but it's a five bedroom house. I mean, right. it's a big sprawling place. And you have to be suitable because he's, of course, Andrew's not doing any engagements or anything like that. He mm -hmm. doesn't need the big house. Okay. All right. Let's get an update on Princess Kate because the latest there, and I think we learned this last week, is that she will not attend the final rehearsal for this year's Trooping the Colour. Right. So she is the Colonel of the Irish Guards. They're the guards who are being trooped this year. So the expectation is she would be at the final rehearsal. She will not. A, a general's going to stand in for her. But she and William were out seat out grocery shopping near their country home in uh, on the Sandringham Estate because the kids were off on school break, so they were up there. No pictures. This is a famously discreet area. They they have royals all the time, but it's a good sign that she's out and about. Will she be at the full Trooping the Colour? Mm, I don't think so. But the king will be. He's not going to be on horseback. He's going to be in a carriage because he's still undergoing cancer treatment. Mm. So he and the queen will go by carriage. Okay. All right. Meantime, uh, some uh, disappointing ratings for the Netflix series Heart of Invictus. Uh, tell us what are the numbers and what could this mean for Harry and Meghan in their future when it comes to projects with Netflix? Yeah, this is not great. So it's released August 2023 uh, for the first five months. That's the numbers we've got. 300,000 viewers worldwide. Uh, that's just not great at all, uh, especially for such a worldwide thing. And they did a huge push on it. Um, I think, you know, you've, they've got to be thinking really hard about the contract. It's up for renewal next year. They are working on the Polo um, series. They're working on Megan's um, Lifestyle series. But are they going to be able to get those across the finish line before the contract comes up? That's going to be the debate. Okay. Uh, quickly, just want to throw this in. We hear ABBA got knighted. They 
Royal Palace. We so rarely see them all together. Uh, they, the King of Sweden uh, gave them a knighthood, the Order of Vasa. Um, here's the thing. It's here's a quick question for you. It's okay. the 50th anniversary of their first big hit, 1974. Do you know what it was? Ooh, Jeffrey, Ooh. he's our Euro. <laughs> it was Euro it was Eurovision. Yeah, the, the song they won Eurovision yep. for. Oh boy, uh, one of their hits. Yeah. Oh, mm. uh, Dancing Queen. I think that came later. Oh. Name of the game. Waterloo. 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 Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Waterloo was our Waterloo, it seems, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> but great to see them all together again. It was Amazing wonderful photo. because they so rarely appear together. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, it's it's a real honor for them uh, to come out, to, to see them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. All right. And great to see you as always, Patricia Treble. Thank you so much for another Royal Roundup. Have a good week.